Hi everyone, this week is Parshas Mishpatim. Please turn to chapter 24, verse 12. This is at the end of the Parsha, after all the myriads of mitzvot that God has given the Jewish people. God instructs Moshe to come onto the mountain and to wait there. I alay, alai, hahar, vayasham. Loosely translated, come to me upon the mountain and you will be there. That's kind of strange. Like if you're already on the mountain, what do you have to tell me that you will be there? Vayasham. So Rashi picks up on this and he teaches us, Moshe, you're going to be here for quite a while. You're going to be here for 40 days and 40 nights. So get comfortable. Moshe has nowhere else to go. The Kotzko Rebbe teaches a very important idea. He says, sometimes people can be in a physical place, but not be there mentally, spiritually, emotionally. There's a um, motivational speaker. His name is Simon Sinek. He has the fourth most watched TED Talk. And he's talking about the smartphone. And he said, when someone is talking to you and they have their smartphone in their hand, even if they're not looking at it, they subconsciously send the message that you're not the most important person in the room, that I can be distracted very easily, that you don't have my full attention. And I think about that a lot, especially when it comes to relationships and being there totally in the moment and how the phones play an integral part of our lives, but have to know their place. I think about davening. I try to avoid davening with my smartphone. Why? Because eventually things do pop up over there. Messages, alerts, um, and I look around, and the same thing when, it's, when I sit down to learn. Even if I take my phone and I place it down, on uh, the face down, it's distracting. It's too close. So I think this idea of Ayesham is a great lesson and a very, very challenging one to always be present fully with the people in front of us, that they are the most important person and the most important thing at that moment. I even think about the idea that sometimes the phone will ring in my hand, I'll take a look, I'll say, excuse me, and then I go, oh yeah, I'm not gonna take that call. What message do I send to that person who's with me at the moment? So even in Parshas Mishpatim, we have a lesson that we can apply to our daily lives. Smartphones are great. They really can help us connect to people. But for when people are in front of us, we don't need the smartphones. Anyway, I hope this is helpful to you. I hope this enhances your relationships with your friends and family. And if you like what you hear, please pass it on. Shabbat Shalom.